think there's a possibility he survived the Sarlacc pit? Interesting, interesting, interesting. I mean, there's always possibilities. I don't like to limit our storytelling in any way. And, you know, who knows? I've been surprised. It would be really hypocritical for the guy that helped bring Darth Maul back to life after he got cut in half for me to say that somebody can't survive a Sarlacc pit, but I don't know. You know, I mean, anything's possible in Star Wars. And I always think when fans love something, that's what really fuels the possibility and the believability. So who knows? It looks like Boba Fett will be returning to Star Wars in The Mandalorian Season 2. The Hollywood Reporter is reporting that the actor who played Jango Fett in Attack of the Clones, Tamara Morrison, will be reprising his role as Boba Fett for the first time in live action. Morrison has lent his voice for Boba Fett in every Battlefront game, The Force Unleashed 2, and Pirate War, and the special editions of the original trilogy. So technically, he has played Boba Fett before. Usually I do not report on rumors like these. For example, a rumor came out a few days back regarding Hayden Christensen reprising his role as Anakin Skywalker in the Kenobi series in flashbacks. But the source was just some random Star Wars account on Twitter essentially saying, trust me. So it's most likely BS, well I'll compare that to the Hollywood Reporter, you know, a more credible source. Reportedly, Morrison will play a small role as Boba Fett in the series, and they say he was the unknown figure walking towards Fennec Shan's unconscious slash lifeless body. I assumed he was some kind of Mandalorian because of the sound of his boots are the same sound the Mandalorian and Boba Fett's make. It also makes sense for it to be Boba because, you know, the planet they were on was Tatooine. However, I have seen many fans complain Daniel Logan is not playing Boba Fett, as he did play young Boba in Attack of the Clones and voiced him in the Clone Wars. I, for one, am glad he's not playing Boba Fett. It wouldn't make much logical sense in the canon. The Mandalorian takes place nine years after the Battle of Yavin, and Boba was born 32 years before the Battle of Yavin, meaning he would be 41 during the time of the show. Morrison was 39 at the time of filming the Attack of the Clones, meaning Boba Fett is literally the perfect age to look like this. However, Morrison is currently 59, so if they really are going to do this, they will need to do some de-aging on Morrison, which another company already did on the film Aquaman. So the actor has already been de-aged, and if he isn't going to play a large part, they should just do it again. Besides, he doesn't need to be in the suit completely during action sequences. And part of the Mandalorian Code post Siege of Mandalore 2.0 Empire Edition is for them not to take off their helmets. But Boba is not a Mandalorian, so that may be a big plot point later on the show. Again, he will not have a big part in Season 2. I suspect some Thanos Phase 2 stuff with Boba as they tease him to be a much bigger antagonist later in the show's lifespan. Also, one more thing, an editor at Sinlex, I've never heard of this uh, website before, so take this with a grain of salt, said that he has heard rumors that Boba is not the only character Morrison will play in Season 2. Which brings us to another rumor regarding Season 2. Ahsoka Tano, Captain Rex, and Sabine Wren may all play parts in Season 2 of The Mandalorian. Dave Filoni is only directing one episode this season, and I suspect it will be Chapter 6, The Sorcerer. All of the titles were leaked a few weeks back. Again, no idea if this is true, but if it is, the name lines up with other leaks. The last time we saw Ahsoka and Sabine, they were off to find Ezra Bridger in the Unknown Regions. Likewise, Captain Rex's accelerated aging has also been fixed, so he no longer ages fast, allowing him to live much longer. I think if they really are working on a Rebel sequel, having Ahsoka, Sabine, and Rex all in The Mandalorian Season 2 to introduce them to a more casual audience is a fantastic play. Even Bob Iger, at the time of being CEO of Disney, said he would like to make Mandalorian a gateway to more shows, aka Rebel sequel. They are definitely making a Rebel sequel. Either that be next year, two years, this year, we have no idea. But if they are going to make that show, putting these characters in a live action form for audiences that are just wanting to watch Baby Yoda, it's a good play to get more people to watch animation shows. More, the more casual audience that doesn't care as much as probably you, the viewer watching right now. I would say the Boba Fett rumor is most likely true compared to Ahsoka Sabine and Captain Rex. As much as I would love to see them in live action, I honestly don't know if <laughs> they will be added into Mandalorian Season 2. Tons of leaks are happening with this show, tons of rumors, you know, Chapter 6 being called the Sorcerer, Ahsoka Tano, 
you know, that aligns Morrison playing Boba Fett, and if they already have Morrison playing Boba Fett, they could probably use him to film for another two days to just put on makeup and uh, facial hair for Captain Rex, you know, and it would be uh, freaking amazing to have, like, those characters for those diehard Star Wars fans who keep up with all the canon. So yeah, anyway, in conclusion, I believe Boba Fett will be in Mandalorian Season 2. However, Ahsoka Tano, Captain Rex, and Sabine Wren, I'll believe it when I see it. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, drop a like, blast, like, and all that good stuff, and hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I don't really know what this channel is going to turn into, considering the main content I had on this channel, uh, Battlefront 2, is dead. So, we'll see what happens in the future. Anyway, if you're new, why don't you subscribe? For all things Star Wars. This is the First Order, signing off.